Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise and honor and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Right, brother Jeremiah, come with a quick invitation to the Spirit. Just wanted to touch on um, patience. All right, it's something that all Israel need uh, and should be uh, focusing on. All right, uh, on patience. You know, um, yeah, we hasten to get up out these uh, carnal bodies and, you know, for the kingdom and for all the things that's promised. But we got to be patient and endure. Endurance and patience. Because they work hand in hand. All right. Because if you're not enduring, you know, you're not having patience. All right. Um, the Lord, the Lord also say, woe to him that's uh, that lose patience. What's that in, um, it's all right, 2 and 14, I believe. I'm going to get it real quick. Uh, it says, woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will he do when the Lord shall visit you? All right. So, yeah. So the Lord said, okay, woe to you that lose patience. All right. Destruction. Because woe is destruction and death. Right, uh, until you that lose patience. All right, um, even the apostles, the uh, Salaki, even the disciples who walked in the apostles who walked with Yahweh, uh, they was asking, When shall I end me? Or how will we know the signs? Hey, Yahweh, I said, Of that day, you know, no man. Hey, Yahweh, I didn't even know, right? Who the world didn't call Jesus Christ. So, how much more us? Well, we got the signs and the different things that's going uh, that we can check off of the Bible, but um, nevertheless, uh, it's all gonna come down to patience. All right, we hasten, we, we hate it here in this captivity, having to work for our oppressors, you know, barely scraping money to, uh, together for rent, right? Living check to check, all these things, but those are the afflictions and trials that we got to go through, um, uh, you know, to possibly, uh, you know, try to make it to the kingdom. Right, get that everlasting life. Nobody knows who written in the book of life. All right, we don't have that uh, understanding like our forefathers did. We had Paul, who was going to different churches and said, Bless certain people and women for they read in the book of life. You know, um, a lot of our forefathers had that understanding, but we in this lowest state right now where we, we don't have that understanding. So, we got to enjoy it. It's like endure all the sufferings trials and tribulations right and i'm driving so i can't get too many precepts i'm a paraphrase right but um yeah uh, nevertheless uh you know we gotta endure and suffer patiently right you know um for the things that we're gonna see in uh in the, in the kingdom or lord willing if we part of that number hey the things that we go through not worth not uh not even worthy of being um compared to that hey we you know be in the bottom of state seeing all these nations with the nice cars and the big mansions and uh living deliciously but uh those carnal riches you know can't compare to what the lord gonna have in store for those that way that love him perfect paraphrases all right so the lord said eyes haven't seen or ears was that a uh, first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9 he said eyes haven't seen or ears haven't heard um the things that's promised for those that love the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. So all these things uh, all endure, I mean, come with patience, right? So Israel, we got to keep fighting, right? And keep holding on, right? And um, not give up. It's all about patience man, with the Lord, right? And the Lord said in the book, of, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Hosea, and the Lord said he was going to go to his throne and, and uh, and just sit, uh, so I can paraphrase it. He said he's gonna go. I think that's Amos chapter five and ten. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, just paraphrasing. Uh, he said he gonna go in, uh, to the throne and, and um, basically patiently wait for uh, us to uh, humble ourselves and bethink ourselves, man. All right? Uh, roughly paraphrasing. But hey, the Lord is about patience. Hey, uh, and that's how we gotta be, man. All right? All right? So you know, this one gonna be. This is a quick annotation on patience. Right, endurance, patience, um, all this thing. What's that? Uh, James chapter five and verse ten. All right, um, you know the Lord said He coming for the uh, precious fruit, man, and of those that's patiently waiting, man. Uh, if you go down in that, I was thinking He said you have heard of the patience of Job. All right, you know Job was patient. He was catching all kind of hell, man. All right, children getting killed, wife bucking up against him, losing all, all everything, man. All right, but uh. You know, it wasn't a quick thing. It wasn't just two days and then it was it. Who knows how many days it was. If I'm not mistaken, it's about 43, 42 chapters in Job. Right? So who knows how how long he was uh, enduring those afflictions, man. 
And then he endured it. You know, the Lord rebuked him. And what? He got back to triple fold, man. So, but he had to be patient and endure that thing. Same with us. We got to be patient and endure all the things we go through in this captivity, man. Right? It's not going to be easy. Right? Uh, that's why we got each other. Brotherhood, sisterhood, you know, children. Um, you know, that's why we have each other to help us do these things. Can't do it by ourselves. Can't have these certain things that you go through uh, separate you or do any of these things. Why? Because I, I never seen when the Lord said, Are you strong by yourself? And the Lord said, Woe to him that's alone, man. And the Lord said, uh, Two core and the three core fold is not easily broken. But when you're by yourself, hey, you can be broken. But that's why you have each other to endure and to help you uh, be patient in this thing. All right. So this was just a quick uh, exhortation. Uh, through the spirit, storm patience. You know, um, you know, we see all hell breaking loose. Um, you know, fighting amongst each other, uh, which been going on forever. You know, it's not a new thing. It's no new thing under the sun. So, um, but um, you know, maybe brothers you losing patience. Maybe they getting hasty. You know, they hasted the coming of the Lord. Man, who knows? But nevertheless, we gotta continue to endure, be patient, and endure these afflictions, man. Right? Because the Lord said uh, you got to go through these uh, certain things, right? So it's a patient game because the Lord said you got to go through these trials and tribulations because he's not going to just put it on 10 right away. He ain't going to just turn that fire straight on and put it on 10. Lest that patience and lest we just fall out instantly. Some people can't endure that and be patient in that, man. All right? But nevertheless, if you start it up at 1, 2, 3, and turn it up slowly, you know, you can endure those those things, um, you know, and it increase your faith and your patience, man. So with that, Israel, just a quick exhortation, right? On uh, enduring and being patient, right? So with that, y'all, by Shimmy, I shot, rocket, I shot on. Let's continue.